This is Catholic Daily Reflections for August 15th, the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today's reflection is entitled, Embracing the Mother of God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. These, the opening lines of our Blessed Mother's glorious song of praise, reveal who she is. She is one whose whole life proclaims the greatness of God and rejoices continually. She is one who is the perfection of humility and therefore highly exalted by every generation. She is the one for whom God has done great things in the one whom God has covered in holiness. The solemnity we celebrate today, that of her assumption into heaven, points to God's acknowledgement of her greatness. God did not allow her to taste death or any consequences of sin. She was immaculate, perfect in every way, from the moment of her conception to the moment she was taken body and soul into heaven to reign as queen for all eternity. The immaculate nature of our Blessed Mother may be hard for some to comprehend. That's because her life is one of the greatest mysteries of our faith. Very little was said of her in the scriptures, but much more will be said of her for all eternity as her humility is unmasked and her greatness shines forth for all to see. Our Blessed Mother was immaculate, meaning without sin, for two reasons. First, God preserved her from original sin at the moment of her conception by a special grace. We call this a preservative grace. Like Adam and Eve, she was conceived without sin. But unlike Adam and Eve, she was conceived in the order of grace. She was conceived as one who was already saved by grace, by her Son, whom she would one day bring into the world. The grace that her Son would one day pour on the world transcended time and covered her at the moment of her conception. The second reason our Blessed Mother is immaculate is because, unlike Adam and Eve, she never chose to sin throughout her life. Therefore she became the new Eve, the new mother of all the living, the new mother of all who live in the grace of her Son. As a result of this immaculate nature and her continuous free choice to live in grace, God brought her body and soul into heaven upon the completion of her earthly life. It is this glorious and solemn fact that we celebrate today. Reflect today upon your understanding of our Blessed Mother. Do you know her, understand her role in your life, and continually seek her motherly care? She is your mother if you choose to live in the grace of her Son. Embrace that fact more deeply today and choose to make her an even more important part of your life. Jesus will be grateful you do. Let us pray. Lord, help me to love your mother with the same love you have for her. As you were entrusted to her care, so I desire to be entrusted to her care. Mary, my mother and queen, Pray for me as I have recourse to you. Jesus, I trust in you.